Okay, before you bring up what you were going to mention, uh, this is like a box office breakdown of the past couple weekends. The Martian had a 32% drop from its first to second weekend, making $37 million, which is still really great, a non-opening weekend for a movie. I think the first weekend it was um, did like a hundred million or something. I could be wrong actually. I'm not sure. I think it was very high though. I did enjoy that movie. Yeah. Very cool, like the scientific aspect of it too, like <laughs> learning about some things. Yeah, definitely. The book is like a textbook for botany, and dang, I just got killed. And then Pan, apparently it was a big flop. Damn it. Oh, bad start, we're, we're good. Pan only yeah. made 15 million. <laughs> and that is Hugh Jackman, right? Yeah, and they had a $150 million budget. So they're like, they've made like 10% of what they, it's costing to make the movie. Gosh. It's really bad. Yeah. So I guess we'll talk about, uh, oh no, when we get there, nice. some superhero movies that are going to come out. Sure. Yes. Okay. So I heard um, for the Batman and Superman movie, there's going to be some sort of LexCorp website uh -huh. uh, this winter coming. So basically, that's like um, it's like a little teaser of, I guess, Lex Luthor's like company, right? Yeah. Um, if I find a link, I'll put that in the description or something. Well, that should be pretty cool. But along with that, another image of Batman in his suit was revealed. Um, he Recently? Looks, like, really sick. Yeah. I think. Yeah, everything uh, they've showed for that movie looks so badass. Yeah. Should be a lot of fun. Definitely. Watch. I'm looking forward to that. Fans. Yeah, some guy named Clay Enos posted a picture of it, and it's like a sick picture of him in the bat suit, and then behind him is like the Batmobile opened with its doors open. The Batmobile looks really cool in this one too. Oh, that's a goal. It's looked pretty cool in like a lot in the, I think, the three most recent ones that have been out. Didn't you say they were gonna do some ones. sort of like, like, individual trailers? for the characters? Yeah, I think that's what I read, that there was gonna be a Batman trailer, and then a Superman one, and then kinda show like two sides of the story, and I'm that's sure really cool. Some some parts will be the same. I got it, I got that. it. Nice. That should be cool. Can't wait to see that movie. Yeah. It opens March 25th, 2016, and Su Suicide Squad, August 5th, Wonder Woman, June 23rd, Justice League, November 17th of 2017. Wonder Woman is also 2017. Wonder Woman looks awesome. They just released a bunch of, like, concept art of what her she's going to be looking like. Gal Gadot. Beautiful. So beautiful. Like, so beautiful. Miss Universe. The most beautiful female in the universe. <laughs> in the whole, the whole cosmos. <laughs> so there's going to be a Flash movie, you said, right? I didn't say that, but yeah, I think, there, I think there's definitely going to be one. Maybe I read that they're like starting to generate ideas for it. There's the TV show, which you've seen, right? Yeah. A lot of people are like 
pissed that they're not using the guy in the TV show for the movie. But I'm not. Like, he's good in the show. Like, it's a good show, and he's a good flash for that show. But I don't think he'd be really that great on the silver screen. They need, like, I don't know. It just needs to be oh. more. Yeah. So how is the costume like in in this show? Is it like cloth and it's like very... It's like rubbery. So. Yeah. But it I'm looks reading. legit. Like, it's not bad. I'm reading that the, the movie costume legitimate. would be... No, it would be different. It would be more like tech-based to avoid comparison to the TV show. Oh, that sucks. Why? Because is that not how it is in the comics? Not at all. Like every portrayal of the Flash is has nothing to do with like any sort of tech suit. It's like all him. Yeah. I mean, the image I'm looking at looks like really cool. Like his helmet looks really cool. His like suit, his armor look really badass. So we'll see. And you've played in Injustice: Gods Among Us. Right? Oh yeah. Didn't you have that? I thought it I thought the it was flash really hard. Do you remember his suit? Oh yes. Okay, yeah, that was like a little techie so one be sort a, of a little bit like, like that. Yeah, that's kind of I think they're using that as like the basis. Like oh like shit. How it would be like. So it shouldn't look too bad. Not like I don't think it'll look bad, tech, but you know. I don't know. First flash movie and it doesn't like No big deal. It'll we'll look, see. I mean, the movie's gonna be sick regardless. And there's gonna be Aquaman, Shazam. Apparently, there's gonna be Justice League 2 also. Cyborg, which I haven't heard anything about. Green Lantern Corpse. And then Core? Untitled I mean. Core, yeah. And then, un, <laughs> like, separate Green untitled. Lantern Corpse? <laughs> corpse. His corpse in, in space or something. Um. <laughs> A really like horrible movie. Not really like pleasant for kids. Um, and then individual movies for Batman and Superman. It's so Some great, dude. To be determined. So some Spider-Man info. Um, Ooh. Favorite superhero. Uh, so for his costume, I think they have like two ideas for how it's going to be like in Civil War. They're going to have his like, you know, homemade style similar to the one he has in like the old Superman and the old Spider-Man. Uh -huh. It's like just like maybe like sweats and goggles or something like that. Something along those lines. A little more like, like cooler. A sharpie <laughs> Spider-Man pinned into the front of his shirt or something. Um, but then they're going to have a second one, uh, like a real Spider-Man suit that apparently like Tony Stark makes for him. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Can you imagine that dude? Like, all right, I'm Spider-Man, just figure out these powers, just met like the Avengers. I'll do my like best. This billionaire like genius is about to make an incredible suit for me. So I can reach my full highest potential and save the world. Can you get that? No. So it'd be pretty cool. It'd be I think it'd be really interesting if at some point they have like the symbiote nice, uh, suit. A what? The like symbiote suit. Or the Cindio Spider Man? Yeah. All right, so X-Men Apocalypse. It's better wrap up this entire X-Men series we've, we've loved this past... Been able to this enjoy. past, like, 15 years, right? When did the first one come out? Long time ago. 1970s, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Way before you were born, anyone watching this. Um, but, yeah, it, how many are out now? Six? Is it a saga that's out? Or is it going to be a saga? I don't know. 
I don't know. That's a good question. There's X Men, well, there which was the first one. All right, I'm looking at it here. Yeah, X Men, which is 2000. There's X Two, which is 2003. Um, then X Men: The Last Stand, 2006. Get that, dude. Get that. 2009, X Men: Origins Wolverine. And then uh, what are the other ones? Uh. Wolverine oh. one. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. That's the 2009 one. X Men First Class 2011, and then Days of Future Past 2014, and then X Men Apocalypse for the 2016 release. And then they're gonna be like starting. Are they gonna be like? What's up with like Sophie Turner playing Jean Grey? Have you seen that? No, I haven't. Gosh, dude, this fucking lag. Sophie... Oh, no, 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 I have seen that. Sophie turned out. Couldn't remember who that was for a second. Game of Thrones, Sansa. Sansa. Yeah. Dang, we're getting wrecked. Um, yeah, I think she's... They, they casted, like, a whole new, really young X-Men cast. And she's playing Jean. The most powerful mutant ever in the history Sansa. of X-Men. Dude, that scene in Game of Thrones, like, that she does, that, like, little monologue, when it's it's the first episode of season four, um, right after the Red Wedding, and Tyrion is talking to her, and he's like, you have to eat, like, you have to cheer up, or whatever, and she, like, gives that little, like, speech about how like her life is just fucked now because everyone's dead yeah it blows yeah dude i was so emotional <laughs> it's like a year so, after like, it doesn't matter control media fan just started watching game of thrones and he hears this what isn't what's the no. spoiler expiration date or whatever it's like a year after after the event Let's score again Damn. Gosh. Yes. Nice. Good goal. Nice. Good goal. So I think uh, someone said like usually the X Men hours are too long or two hours long. Uh huh. They're too long. Uh, Brian Singer. No, they're like two hours long. But I think uh -huh. he said that he this one might be a little longer. It'll be like a little wrap-up of all the movies. Like a little homage at the end. It's going to be so epic, dude. They're going to make it so huge. I know. It's going to be like, I don't know. I don't want to say emotional, but it's going to be like pretty sad. It can be emotional, that yeah. Pretty... Nice, good hit. Get that. Yes, dude. That's what you call a comeback. So a little synopsis. This is not spoilers. It's basically about this guy, Apocalypse, right? First and most powerful mutant, apparently, from the X-Men universe. Um, he's amassed powers from a bunch of other mutants, making him extremely powerful. And uh, somehow he gets awakened after like thousands of years. If you remember the last one after after the credits? It shows him like an appearance. The I Egyptian guess that was thing. Before, Damn it! Like, dang it! I guess that was before he, he was awakened. But now he's awakened. He's the gods have awakened. He sees this world as it is, and and he just doesn't like it. So he tries to take over. He's gonna re he's gonna recruit a few uh, mutants, and apparently Magneto is gonna be one of them. Dang. Okay, fast men, fast bender, the beast. Speaking of fast and, bender, uh, he's about to drop Macbeth on everybody. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Dude, he's a great actor. He's like one of my favorite actors, man. Just he's so the good. Beast in general. He kills it. You know, he was in Three Hundred. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 
Magneto, it'll be Magneto, he's trying to like cleanse oh, oh, mankind oh, oh. and basically we have these mutants. Dang, um, so is Magneto going like full evil on this? He's like always oh, been yes. evil, you know? Yeah. But like That's just hesitant thing. sort of. Raven, Jennifer Lawrence, oh, and yes. Professor X are gonna lead young X-Men to stop uh Jennifer Lawrence is still Raven? Nemesis. They faced. Apparently. I don't know. I don't, I don't like her as Raven, to be honest. I think she's a decent actress. I don't think she's that good as Raven. Oh, Ooh, careful there. Yes. Alright, let's finish the game right here. This attack. Perfect way to finish. With a comeback. Team CM. So. That was good. That was good. Goodish, goodish. Good super, superhero chat. Movies, yeah. whatever. <laughs> good game, too. Yeah.